Say we wanted to find the points where this parabola cuts the axes. So all we know is um, the equation of the parabola up here, 3x squared minus 12. Well, first of all, to find uh, the two roots of the parabola where it crosses the x-axis, when um, the graph is on the x-axis, the y value is 0 because it's not gone up and down. So in other words, we could write um, 3x squared minus 12 equals 0. And we know how to solve a quadratic like this. We have to make it equal to 0, factorise it, and then solve each part so we get two answers. If we factorise this, there's a common factor of 3. So if we take the 3 out, we would get x squared minus 4 in the bracket. And then if we factorise that further, because there's a difference of two squares in the bracket now, we would get x minus 2 and x plus 2 equals 0. So that means that either x minus 2 has to equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. In other words, either x is 2 or x is minus 2. Uh, so what we've done there is we've found the two roots. So um, this number must be a 2 and this number must be a minus 2. Now then, to find the axis of symmetry, once we find the roots, we think about what the distance is between the two roots. So between minus 2 and 2, there's a distance of 4. If we half that distance, half of 4 is 2, so halfway between the two roots is actually um, the origin, the point 0, because it's 2 in that direction and 2 in the other direction. So the axis of symmetry here is when um, x is 0. So to work out what this point is down at the bottom, what we need to do is work out what y is when x is 0. So again, if we go back to our equation, y equals 3x squared minus 12, and we want to know what is the value of y when the x is 0. So we substitute 0 in in place of the x, in other words. So 0 squared is still 0, and when you do 3 times 0, you still get 0. So y is actually 0 take away 12, and 0 take away 12 is minus 12. So that tells us that this value down at the bottom, the minimum turning point, is 0 minus 12. We're going to do the same thing for this parabola. So first of all, we want to find the two roots. So the two roots are when y is equal to 0. So we'll put y equal to 0 in the equation. So x squared minus 3x plus, uh, minus 10 is equal to 0. And again, this is now a quadratic that we've had a lot of experience at factorising. So to factorise this one, there's no common factor. It's not a difference of two squares, so it's a trinomial. So we'll try and factorise it using a trinomial um, by putting it into two brackets. So we're trying to think of two numbers that multiply to give minus 10 and add to give minus 3. So that could be um, minus 5 and positive 2. So this one does factorise. No need to think about the quadratic equation. So we're going to get in our two brackets x minus 5 and x plus 2. And double check, minus 5 times 2 is minus 10. Minus 5 add 2 is minus 3. So that works. So one of these brackets has to be equal to 0 in order for the answer to be 0. So that's how we get our two answers. So it's either x minus 5 equals 0, in which case x has to equal 5, or x plus 2 is equal to 0, so x is equal to minus 2. So we've worked out the two roots. So um, using your common sense, this one over here must be 5, because it's on the positive axis, and this one here must be minus 2. Now we need to find the axis of symmetry. So uh, we think about the distance between the two roots. So between the two roots, uh, minus five to, sorry, minus two to five is seven. So we need to um, divide that seven by two. So half of seven is three point five. So the axis of symmetry, the midpoint, is three point five in this direction and three point five in this direction. So I'm going to do five take away three point five, which is one point five. So that tells us that down here. The x-coordinate, which would be up here, is 1.5. Now, we need to know 
what the y coordinate is when x is 1.5 in order to put the other part in. So again, we go back to our equation and we substitute in 1.5 in place of the x. We'll just draw a line underneath here. So we get y equals 1.5 squared minus 3 times 1.5, which is 4.5, minus 10. If you work that out on the calculator, you'll get y equals uh, minus 12.25. So at the axis of symmetry here, it's the coordinate 1.5, negative 12.25. You should check that that makes sense. It, this obviously looks like the point, um, 1.5 minus 12.25, so that makes sense. And there's one other point that we can find on this graph, which is where the graph um, crosses the y-axis. When the graph crosses the y-axis, the x-coordinate is 0, because you're not going across at all. So to find it, we just put x equals 0 into the equation. So y equals x squared minus 3x minus 10 is our equation. So if x was 0, we would get 0 minus 0 minus 10. And if you work that out y is minus 10. And does that make sense in terms of our other coordinates? Yes, it does.